How's everybody doing? Ryan here from Zidrick.com and today what I have for you is a really nice enhancement tweak for your iPhone. Sadly, this is not for the iPod and before I get this started, I do want to state that this does not, I repeat, does not work with firmwares lower than 3.0 and you will definitely see why when we get into this. So what we're going to show you is a tweak as stated to search through the spotlight feature that was introduced in 3.0 and it will let you search through your SMS and MMS now legitly um, through those text messages so here's how we're gonna do it and it's a quite a uh, very convenient tool it's very efficient haven't found any bugs with it so far but there is one downfall that we will get into so this is uh, based off of a community source so there will not be any adding any uh, sources or anything like that but all the information and links will be in the sidebar to the post that will link more information from the Zidrick website so go ahead and check that out if you're interested so what we're gonna do is go to the search feature in Cydia and we are going to type in spot S. You don't need to type in the whole thing because it pulls it up automatically and that little check mark right here gives it and lets me know that I do have it currently installed. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. It's called Spot SMS. It is, I'd like to call it a more so of a beta version because of the fact that it is still currently on zero uh, version 0 0.3 uh, as you can see right here. And as stated uh, before, this does not work on 3.0. You can see that right here. We'll go ahead and give you the description just uh, as I stated. There has been minor bug fixes here and there. And there actually is an update to it right now, which you can see in my changes. But I have yet to do that. If anything else happens with that update, I will let you know in an annotation. Or, of course, you can go check on the website. Everything in detail will be there as well. So in the top right, you're going to see install. We're in mine says modify. It's going to bring you to another page where you will then click confirm. It will tell you how much space it takes and all that stuff. It's a very small file. It's not going inter to interfere in as far as loading times for your device. So as far as that goes, you're golden. Uh, after that, it's going to ask you to actually respring your device. So you're going to go ahead and do that. And once it's done, it's going to be an external application. You're not going to see an icon or anything like that. It's just going to be integrated with the uh, Spotlight feature. So we're going to go ahead and go to the search iPhone with the Spotlight feature, just like the Mac. And what we're going to do is type it in. And I went ahead and did a test uh, text message. So we're going to type in, hey. And there it is. It brought it up. Here it is. I sent it to Apple and I said, hey, Apple Incorporated. Um, obviously, that didn't go through because that's not the real number what I did. What's really nice about this is it tells you who you sent it to, when you sent it, and everything that you said. So it's a really, really nice feature. I can go ahead and click on it and it will bring it up obviously and what else uh, the downfall that I stated before is very um, it's not as bad as some would think but let's go ahead and get rid of the why and here it goes it just brings up my songs it doesn't bring up the text the downfall of this application or tweak is the fact that you have to type in at the very least three letters for that MMS or SMS text message to pull up so again we'll type in hey and there it goes so there it is. Uh, again, three letters or more. Otherwise, it's not going to happen, guys. So that is a very important information valid that you need to understand because I know I might get questions on that. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and go on the website or leave a comment and we'll go ahead and respond and go ahead and help you out on how to get this. But that's pretty much all there is to it. It's very convenient, as I said, and it's very efficient. I haven't found any bugs with it as of right now to date. If uh, something comes up, go to the website and it will be stated there in the updates feature. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.